Hey guys, this is Varian, and I'm here at the uh, Razor Studio, and I've got five tips and techniques for you to make your virtual instruments more believable, more humanistic. Number one, you can completely go off the grid because you have to realize that even with a metronome, a lot of humans are not gonna hit right on the click. They're gonna hit maybe a millisecond before or after. Most likely, before. So maybe sketch out your melody and just kind of shift it over just a little tiny bit, maybe one sixteenth of a note, maybe even one fourth of a note if you notice that your samples are not aligning with the metronome. My second tip, would be to play with the velocity. Because if you can think about a human drummer, every hit is gonna be a different value of volume. It's not gonna be ta, 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 ta. It's gonna be ta, 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 ta. So actually draw out ta, 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 ta. And really get that feeling, you know, almost envision yourself as a drummer. How would a drummer play the hi-hat? Well, he would play cha, 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 cha. How would he play the snare? Well, he would hit it hard, and maybe next time harder, or maybe a little bit less hard, but maybe not too crazy. Just enough that it's believable that it's in the same range, but not exactly across, because then it sounds like you basically are in a computer and everything is 127. Volume automation is number three. Uh, this works mainly with a lot of long-held instruments, strings and whatnot. One way to really get a sort of nice fade in is to automate your volume up and down and up and down. If I were to blow into a flute, it wouldn't just hold at this plateau. It would sort of make this kind of squiggly sort of line. And you want to imitate that. You want that realism. So take the time to paint your automation curves, nice and believable. Number four is actually the use of samples. So to go back to my flute example just prior, it's actually really common to have samples of people taking really quick short breaths before having a flute sample. So let's say you have a flute sample library and you have, you're hitting the note G and you're holding it. Well, maybe right before you hit the note G, you have a quick little sample of someone going, you know, like they're about to blow into the flute. And that's gonna make it more believable because it's actually gonna sound like a person's in the recording booth and you didn't clip out any of the breaths, like they're actually there. Other things include room ambiance. You can do things like when the drummer's playing like the drum sticks accidentally clinking real quick. Just little things to make it more human. You know, us humans make mistakes. We sometimes accentuate weirdly and that's the beauty of live music is that it's not all like this. It is very much kind of unpredictable. And the fifth one is something that applies again to all instruments. Uh, and this is what I like to call believable reverb. Believable reverb is going to put you in a room. Um, the, closer, the, the, the closer you are to an instrument, the less it's gonna hit, your, hit the walls before it hits your ears. So it's gonna be really dry. But if you stand 100 feet back from that instrument, well, then it has 100 feet of walls to hit before it hits your ears, giving, giving it the, the, uh, the sound of depth. So if you're playing with orchestras, you want to have a lot of reverb because it want, you want to fill an orchestral hall. If you're doing something like drums, maybe you just want a tiny little bit of reverb to mimic the recording booth. Um, maybe you want a little bit of reverb on the guitars just to fill up space. But all of these are just going to make it more believable because it's going to give it dimension. And not just left and right panning, but also front and back. So those are my top five ways that you can make your instruments sound more believable, uh, more organic, and uh, I hope it helps you. So until next time.